Hello and welcome to episode 24 of the Lifestyle Construction Show. As you can see, I'm not in my normal spots. I'm actually in Park City, Utah. I'm out here for a conference where we're learning more ways to bring more helpful information to you. So today we want to talk about one of the things that affects every American today, and that is stress. You know, if we're alive and breathing, there's a lot of stress out there. And one of the four pillars of the Lifestyle Construction Program is rest and recovery. And in that pillar, we talk a lot about how stress affects our body and how it can have great negative effects on our body. What are some of the things that stress does to our body? Well, it creates a lot of adrenaline and a lot of cortisol hormones. And when those hormones are high, certain things can happen. Now, they are meant to be high if we need them to be high during such as a, an emergency or a situation where we need to run quickly or protect ourselves quickly. That's called the flight or fight response. And certainly God designed our bodies to take the adrenaline and the cortisol high in those moments because the blood will go from certain organs of the body like digestion and, and brain function and things and go more toward uh, being able to run so it will stimulate more blood flow to muscles and things where we can run or fight and get away from that from that um, problem. The issue occurs that in America we're so busy and we're, we're rushed and, and we all have obligations, we have jobs, many of us have families and so we're always seemingly pushed and under stress and in a hurry and we live in a society where faster is always better and so the stress response becomes more permanent or those hormones, the cortisols and the adrenaline hormones become elevated uh, over a time period. And what that can do is create havoc on our body and it can create havoc on optimal health, wellness and fitness. Some of the effects of these high cortisol and adrenaline levels can be things like increased belly fat, decreased muscle mass, decreased immune system. And so we can start to see this and others, bone loss and all these things can occur. And so what happens is we're under this heavy stress, those hormones that we've discussed, cortisol and adrenaline are high, and that creates an insulin response and that creates the body to break down muscle or protein is broken down. And then when that happens, then our insulin level goes up. This can create some inflammatory issues or inflammation and it signals our body to hold on to fat and not to release it. In conjunction, when we have this chronically, that stress can, uh, can damage our adrenal glands, which are the glands in our kidneys, located just above the kidneys, that actually um, produce cortisol. So all these things can happen and we can get what's called adrenal fatigue, where the chronic stress actually causes the adrenal glands to not be able to function and produce cortisol effectively, which can then lead to lots of fatigue and things because we need a certain amount of cortisol and we need the adrenal glands to work when we need them to work we just don't want them turned on high all the time so some of the things that we can do and some of the things that we teach to help alleviate this stress are certain things that can be done very quickly and simply like first thing in the morning a very relaxing thing that we can do is meditation uh, prayer or bible reading time could be a yoga session, it could be a combination of all of the above, but that really resets the body and says, lets the body relax and takes away some of those stressful situations and thoughts from us. Other things that we can do, and probably the number one thing we can do, is change the foods that we eat. Because many of the foods that we eat create a cortisol response or a stress response and an insulin response. And so the food that we eat and the things that we drink can be some of the biggest stressors on our body, even more than our jobs and our busy schedules. So certainly the, the first pillar in our program is God-given quality foods. So when we can eat foods that are free from the sugars and the preservatives and the artificial sweeteners and the processed things, we can certainly decrease the response from our food. And by drinking good quality water, of course we recommend Kangen water, we can reduce the, the stress from the sugary drinks and, and the caffeinated drinks. So we want to avoid those things. And then certainly another aspect of one of the four foundational supplements that I have formulated is magnesium. Magnesium can have a tremendous calming effect and relaxing effect and that's why 
we suggest two to three capsules of our magnesium product at bedtime because it helps us relax and rest. And then last but not least, certainly to help reduce stress, is to get a good night's sleep. And so sleep is super important for the body to recover from these stressful days and for the brain to restore and for the cells of the body to clean up and restore. And so sleep is super important. So we need to, number one, make time for sleep, save enough time to sleep. A minimum of six hours, we would prefer more. We would prefer eight for adults, six to eight. Uh, for children, certainly more than eight can, can be beneficial at certain stages in their life, certainly. So another way that we help people rest is we talk about turning off all the blue lights. In other words, the TVs, the computer screens, the telephone screens, all those things need to be shut down uh, maybe two hours before bedtime. And we can, again, use our magnesium product for that, uh, maybe a warm bath or a sauna. You know, lots of ways to help the body relax and just take our mind and take our body away from all the stress that we live under. And the cool thing is when we're able to do those things and we're able to relieve some of these stresses, we're actually much more productive. Our brain is much more, uh, functions much better at a higher level. And we can get more things done in a day which will hopefully alleviate our stress. As always, we appreciate you being here with us today. And we want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, share this video with people that you know that can benefit from learning these uh, techniques. And as always, you can visit our website that's listed below. Thanks. See you next week. Fat cells will produce estrogen, specifically estrone, which is the strongest or most likely to cause cancer of all the estrogen.